Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle, and today we have The Box by Fashionsta. That sounds kind of weird how I said that. Fashionsta. Um, for February. Can't think of the month we're in. Um, I've tried to record this video like three times, and I've had issues with my phone. I need to either just get a camera, or I need to get myself another phone which i kind of need a new phone anyways i've had this one for a few years and i do have some issues with it but i don't it's like i clear all the data off i delete videos once i once i upload them and it's still i just can't i don't know i don't know how it gets so like all the space gets used up and how i have no memory to record anything else it drives me crazy uh, my husband goes can't you just use the laptop and i'm like no no <laughs> not a good camera it would be all like pixelated oh my nose um and yeah not looking good so okay the box by fashion stuff is $24.99 a month and you get like five or six products I think we usually get six um and it is easily one of my favorite uh like makeup skincare subscription boxes I actually I just love this one because I get to try new brands, indie brands, things I've never heard of, and they kind of think outside the box too, and they give you different kinds of stuff sometimes, not always just the same exact thing, um, but you get good stuff too. So uh, they also have a men's box, which looks fantastic. Um, I think it's around 25 or $30 also. It might be 30 because for some reason I thought it was a little more, but it could just be the $25. Um, should have done something to my hair. I've been wanting to like curl it, although I kind of like it today. It's a little fuzzy, fuzzy, frizzy, whatever. Um, anyways, so, but yeah, my husband, he won't, he won't use the men's stuff. I think I've said that before. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know. I guess I could always just like pass the stuff along. I don't know. But if you are a man, check out the men's box or if you're a woman that wants to get the stuff for your husband, brother, friend, your man in your life, then, you know. Or if you're a woman and you just want to use the men's stuff yourself, go for it. Um, this eye has been watering all day today. Is it? It's always my left eye. Does anyone else have that? It's always the side that waters. Um, <clears throat> but I'll link the information down below. I'm kind of like, oh all over the place. Ooh, did you hear that? That felt so good. I need a massage. My girlfriend was going to have us come over and um, have a masseuse come to her house. Oh, I was so looking forward to it, but we haven't had a chance. Um, she, because uh, we had done a bunch of remodeling stuff for her house, which I'll pay for my own session. That just sounds fantastic. <laughs> I just want a massage. Um, my husband and I went and got a massage in December and when we went away for our anniversary and they wore masks and then we had to wear masks and it was kind of hard laying on a table with a mask on so I unhooked it and kind of pulled it down a little because <clears throat> I just I couldn't handle it and there's no one else in the room just me and my husband and the people massaging us so um, or no I didn't pull it down I pulled it like forward to like give myself a pocket of air um, it was just a weird, it's probably all in my head. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and we're going to open the box because that's why you clicked on the channel. I don't think you cared about my mask wearing. Okay, so, whoops. So, it says, this month we celebrate self-care and love. So that's the theme this month. <clears throat> on the back of the card, there is yeah, six products. Talks all about the products and the prices. So the retail value of this box is $138.50. Um, so way over the $24.99 price, which I, you know, sometimes I've watched different videos, different YouTubers, and I noticed that they always, always, always are just complaining about these subscription boxes. And I kind of wonder, well, then why even get them if you don't like it that much, you know? But I don't know. I always, my viewpoint going in is, okay, as long as I get $24.99 worth, you know, of products and maybe they're like, I don't know if I got a box where absolutely nothing I liked, like it was all just not for me. I would probably be like, eh, 
but only if like the products were like old and expired and like spilt all over the place which most companies re replace them anyways but if it's I don't know if it's like not a product that's my favorite you know like um, if I got a nail polish and I'm not really as you can tell I don't really do my nails that much so it's not like my favorite won't probably won't use it um, I'm not gonna have a fit you know I don't know it's just my thinking I try to try to keep it more positive but okay first thing we have here I hate this stuff this stuff it always makes me itchy um, is by Kao Lion and see no I have heard this brand before I think I've gotten something from Kao Lion before but I can't remember exactly but I think I've heard of it but it's not a brand I've tried much of um, I think it's a Korean beauty brand it looks like <clears throat> Peace, okay, so this is the Peace Water Aqua Fresh Gel Day Cream. Intense hydration, enhances complexion, and calms. What, baby? I think my dog's. <laughs> he was just whining, but he's laying on the floor sleeping. He's having dreams. Um, so, K.O. Lion USA. Uh, this retails for $22.50. It says, all day lasting moisturizing cream is formulated with a water gel that is filled with oxygen bubbles huh okay 90% marine collagen and vitamin capsules for, for ultra lasting skin hydration um, and then inside it says visible oxygen bubbles in the gel may diminish upon usage without affecting efficiency of the product alrighty oh and they give you like a little scooper to scoop the product out I'm really bad at using these I know it's better I know they say you know, use the, you know, don't use your fingers because your fingers can be dirty and then you like touch your face and put it back in there. But I, I don't know. I'm going to try. I need to try. I also got these skincare brushes to put on serums and moisturizer, face, uh, sheet masks, stuff like, not sheet masks, face masks. Like, what? I hope you guys can hear this. He's snorting in his sleep. He goes <laughs> like that the dog <laughs> I'm sorry it's cracking me up I really hope the noise comes up on camera it's just so funny I wish you could see him he's like he's having a good dream I'm not sure what it's about though okay so this is what it looks like so you can see all the oxygen bubbles this reminds me of something I just can't put my finger on it and this is plastic but it looks nice um, And I personally am not huge on gel, uh, like moisturizers, myself. It has a bit of a scent. I can't tell what, though. Um, so it's very, like, jiggly. Oh, there I go. I touched it um, <laughs> with my fingers after I said I wasn't going to do it. I'm not huge on the gel moisturizers, but this would be fun to play with. Anyways, um, but you know, they're, they're okay. Not my favorite. I do feel like I can just tell by looking at this, this would be great in the refrigerator. Maybe like on a cold, um, on a cold, I mean a warm day, you know, in the summer. Okay. Let's see how it mixes in. It's actually really nice. It's very light definitely very lightweight I wonder if so mixes right in or you know um, it feels good I feel like this would be nice maybe like in the morning or after afternoon when you're nice and hot wash your face and then add some moisturizer and have it in the refrigerator make it nice and cool I mean it do feel slightly moisturized not slightly I feel moisturized um, personally I like really thick moisturizers that's just generally what I go for but I will say that if I'm like hot I'm not gonna want to put like a thick one on um, is this like an everyday use apply evenly to clean face and neck massage gently to help penetrate into the skin oh, I told you these things it's like cut up paper they just they it make me so itchy. Okay. 
Next thing we have is Herbal Dynamics Beauty. Another brand I don't think I've ever heard of before. Oh, I guess I should read what it is. Vital Revival Mango and Green Tea Firming Eye Mask. Ooh. All right. I love eye masks. So this is fantastic. Where's the... Oh, there it is. So this retails for $20. It says reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness with green tea and caffeine as apple and mango extracts extracts soothe and soften. Uh, vegan and cruelty free. That's another thing. They always tell you if it's like vegan, cruelty free um, on here, which is nice. Which it seems like 95% of their stuff is. In fact, everything on here besides that cream, it says vegan and cruelty free. Um, so that's kind of cool. They let you know. So this is what it looks like. Cannot get it to focus right. Anyways, it's just a plastic container. Oh. It makes me think of like a ming mango sorbet or something. I don't know why. <laughs> But that's what it looks like. Um, what does it say? Directions. On clean skin, pat generously around orbital eye area. Leave on at least three minutes. Removing gently with a damp cloth. Mm. Leave in the refrigerator for added soothing. See, I hate when you have to remove stuff. I like to just put it on and leave it on. Um, and then it says also put in the fridge for added refreshing coolness or something, something along. I don't think that's what it said, but something along that. So it's, it is like nice and thick. See, I just hate to have to like rinse something off after, you know, but I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe in the morning, only three minutes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try it. Um. It feels nice. It feels nice. So we'll see. Okay, what's next? No Noctex Cosmetics. Never heard of this brand either. Noctex Cosmetics contains liquid, uh, liquid lip vial. Have you guys heard of Noctex? This retails for $18. Um, it says a luxurious Velvet matte finish, non-drying formula that wears comfortably all day long, vegan, cruelty-free. Um, so I guess it's a lipstick. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Look at that. It does look like a with plastic, but it does look like, like a little vial. Like a little beaker. What are they called? You know, test tube. That's it, test tube. And... Um, let's see, let's do it over here. That's the color. Mm, don't know if that's really going to be me. Ooh, it smells like cake. <sighs> Always makes me hungry. Okay. Let's see here. I don't have any. Let's try to put a lip liner on. Although I don't really have one that matches. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I do somewhere, but... I'm so bad at trying these. I always make such a mess. And you guys have told me, put a lip liner on before you do a liquid lipstick and that'll help. Cause I always get it like in the corner here and then I smear it down below. Oops. Okay. I'd even go to the bottom of my lip. Oh my gosh. I like, oh, that stays on. My lips are dry. I don't know what it, I've been trying so hard to put um, more and more. Isn't this what you're supposed to do too? You put like a line I don't even know why I'm bothering. <laughs> that looks hilarious. <laughs> I'm just going to wipe it off because we already know. If you know me, you already know it's not going to look good. You already know. 
Okay. Totally different color. But, did I do it wrong? Like, my lip flat goes, like, it's flat. Now I can kind of can see the benefit of the lip liner because you can kind of, like, make your lips look bigger. I don't really know how to do that, though. That just looks funny to me. All right, what do you guys think? Besides like, it's not perfect. Maybe not with what I'm wearing. Um, it's not bad though. It's actually like pretty on there. Um, let's do like a gloss. Do I have a gloss? Okay, I've got this clear gloss. This is complex culture. Cause I like I don't really care for the matte look. I mean, doesn't I feel like it does doesn't really match what I'm wearing, but I don't hate it. You guys are so sweet too. And oh my gosh, I didn't get it all over my teeth like I usually do. <laughs> the lip liner really works. Um you guys are always so great too cuz you're always telling me how good you think I look. Like everyone always gives me such nice compliments um, whenever I try lipstick on, even if I think it looks horrible. And so it's honestly has helped my confidence so much in wearing lip colors. I even wore lip color um, a couple times like out of the house. I mean, I was wearing a mask. Well, no, I think I did once going to dinner. My husband and I went to dinner and Obviously it came off as soon as I wiped my, you know, ate and wiped my lips, but I would have never done that before if it weren't for you guys, like, just telling me, oh, it looks good, you know, you look really great. So, thank you. You guys have really helped my confidence with that. Okay, I'll just leave it on. Even if it doesn't really match, we'll just leave it on. Okay, so the next thing we have is, oh, I've had this before, um, Bella, Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder. High definition translucent powder. Um, I like this powder okay. As you can see, it's very light, very it's just translucent, brightening. Um, retails for thirty-five dollars. It says an impossibly smooth mica-based powder that mattifies and sets makeup in place, providing a silky, shine-free finish, ideal for using with the baking technique cruelty free. Um, I have, I think I have like a little size of this open, so I don't want to open this because it's not my favorite. It's not horrible though, but mica is a, I, and I'm glad they say that. And it says that's like the main ingredient is mica. My mom is allergic to, to mica. Um, she can't use it. So. Okay. Which I don't, I mean, I'm not, I can use something with mica in it, but it just made me think of that. So the next thing so Bella Pierre is a, pro a company that I've gotten in a lot of subscription boxes, but that's the first out of the three. And then glass bottle, never heard of MD, measurable difference, hyaluronic acid, repairs dryness, provides deep hydration to the skin and promotes natural skin glow. And it's, look at that, it's like very thick. I don't know if you can see. It's a nice thick serum. Um, so this hyaluronic acid serum is $15, which isn't bad. Um, it says hyaluronic acid can hold up to a thousand times its weight in moisture, making it an ideal ingredient for deep hydration of the skin to get a natural skin glow, vegan and cruelty free. This would, so I feel like that might be good, um, under your makeup. It says instructions, uh, pump a couple drops of the facial oil into your fingertips or the palm of your hand. Rub your fingers together to warm up the oil, pat the oil all over your face and neck. Oh, so it's more, it's like a, an oil. It says it's a serum, but it's like a thick oil serum. 
I'm always confused with those because I'll do like toner, serum, and then I'll do moisturizer and then oil or a mask on top of the moisturizer and oil, whatever. Um, but if it's a serum oil, do I put that on before I do the moisturizer or after? I don't know. My sister-in-law just rubs everything together and puts it all on together. <laughs> but I don't know. I always thought you should put it on the layers. Because I always thought the oil helps like everything like push in, bake in or something. I don't know. Okay, next thing we have is Real Her Dream So Big eyeshadow palette. Um, this retails for $28. It says nine motivating and empowering shades infused with avocado oil, coconut oil, and other powerhouse ingredients for hydration and anti-aging properties, vegan and cruelty free. I have had a palette before from Real Her. I like them, but they're definitely a lot more subtle than I use. It's more like, um, everyday, like makeup. Well, I mean, this is my everyday makeup, but, uh, not as like bright and vibrant I guess they're more toned down let's just say thank you we at real re <clears throat> I can't speak we at real hurt donate a part of our proceeds to nonprofit organizations that help advance the lives of women and girls through scholarship programs leadership advocacy education and research here in the US that's so cool let these quotes act as a reminder and source of inspiration with each application. May you reinforce the meaning of the quote and boost your self-confidence. Remember, you are enough. There, it's, this company's so cool. They're so like, I love that. Just everything there. It, they try to, it's like empowering women. Um, okay, so this is what the palette looks like. Sorry. <laughs> and got a big mirror these are the colors see they're definitely more like toned down muted but very pretty uh, not deep or bright enough for me I mean I could wear them but I I just I know I, I wouldn't it wouldn't be my go-to I wouldn't use them very often which I kind of figured because the last although this is different I think the last palette was more browns that I got um, but I can't remember which one it was so but I'm not hating it because it is a beautiful palette. And that's it. So, $138.50 value. To recap, the Real Dreams palette, eight eyeshadow, no, nine eyeshadows, Bella Pierre Translucent Setting Powder, no, no, Noctex Cosmetics Lip Vial Liquid Matte Lipstick, um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum Oil, the Herbal Dynamics Beauty firming eye mask we have to wash off and the kale lion peace water aqua fresh gel day cream so you kind of got like a little bit of everything which is fun because we've, we've got I mean they gave half and half skincare makeup you know so that's kind of cool I like that they mix it up like that too but so anyways that is my entire shop um, fashion sta the box for February. February. Bleh. Can't speak. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the box. Have a beautiful day.